Liberal Hollywood is racist at the highest level and with great anger and hate. In fact, it is often the people that they so strongly oppose that are the movie coming out is made in order to inflame and cause chaos. They create their own violence and then try to blame others. They are the true racists and are very bad for our country. Quickie. So I just saw The Purge Hunger Games and it was The Purge Hunger Games. Now very quick. You must not take this movie seriously at all, not a single bit. It is a fucking parody. Now I usually don't jump into the point of a video that quickly, but this time I really mean it. There's a lot of misconceptions going on. There's a lot of slapstick horror comedy elements with death and violence, and yes, I know, people are really tired of the overused theme of spoiled rich whites trying to murder civilians, but hey. Some of these movies are pretty good. Your next and ready or not follow the same theme of social commentary that nobody cares about, but they just stay out of politics. They are literally just home alone with blood. That is it. This is not like that. This is parody satire. Satire. Some people don't get it. Sometimes you might not like a movie because you didn't choose the correct mindset, and I'm here to fix that. So believe me when I say you shouldn't take this movie seriously at all. In these kinds of movies, I expect two compulsory mandatory things, badassery and slapstick violence. And this movie is so good at delivering that. I didn't watch the trailer, so some parts are seemed subversive sometimes. In the first 20 minutes, you get to see the situation in other people's perspective, which I thought was really cool. The best thing about this movie, other than the main performance, which was pretty good, except sometimes when Betty wanted to look confused, she looked like an immersive face from Gary's mod. My favorite thing was the pacing. The pacing was really good for the most part. Things flow around perfectly in my opinion. Dialogue seems normal and natural, if not a little slapsticky at times, which is a good thing. It doesn't really drag in its set locations or dialogue, and I actually really liked that. The satire is mostly shared through dialogue, so look out for the cheeky dialogue, you will fall for it. Now first off, before proof, I want to say, don't trust the reviews. This might be condescending, but many people don't get it. They take it seriously. And some people actually reviewed this film before it came out. That is so not fair. Actually waiting for the movie to come out to give an honest review? No, fuck that. I'm smart. I figured it all out. It's okay. The trailers are always honest. Uh, I'm smart. I got it. But this upper class rich girl tells civilian, how dare you assume we kill people for sport? How dare you assume that on the internet? And the other one is like, but, but you are. You're doing it right now. The dialogue is perfect. You know what, fuck that. Dialogue's my favorite thing in this movie. One thing I didn't really like were the last 20 minutes because that was boring and I couldn't really tell all the time whether I'm supposed to be treating it like a comedy anymore. Nevertheless, this didn't really ruin the movie for me. So I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, so watch the movie. Please don't believe those fake reviewers you think have all the power just because they are on Rotten Tomatoes. Believe me, I am small and very honest and would never lie to fellow humans. How dare you assume movie through IMDB. IMDB are mostly male critics. There are so little female critics. IMDB is sexist.